back, relax, and maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hey guys, so I'm here today to do a top book of the year video. This is always very exciting and I have 10 books that were my favourites of the year to talk to you guys about. Of course there were plenty more than 10 that I loved but these 10 are the ones I've narrowed it down to for my final favourites of the year. So let's get started. They're not really in an order because I did love all of them but I'm gonna maybe work up to like my three favourites or so. First one on my list is Clan of the Cave Bear by Jean M. All. Jean M. All was a new author to me this year and her series is about an ancient world which is focusing on cavemen and the evolution of humankind. I believe at the time of this being published, which was quite a few years ago now, it was quite accurate in what we had discovered about the ancient cavemen people, but over time some of those things may have changed. However, in terms of being a great fantasy story, it's exactly that, and I loved it. I've done a full review, I'll link it below. Next on my list is my favourite one of Sebastian de Castell's works, and that is Night's Shadow. This was, I believe, the second one in the series, and it's my favourite of the collection, although I really enjoy the whole series, but this one in particular just reached out to me and pulled me into the story. It's kind of like a Musketeers, Three Musketeers and Sword and Sorcery blend. It feels very fun, very fast paced and one of those fantasies that is really easy to get into, especially if you're newer to the genre, so well worth checking it out and I've reviewed the whole series, so go check that out below. Next on my list is a non-fiction, which is a book I totally did not expect to make my list, and that is Far From the Tree by Andrew Solomon. This is one of the books I read for the Welcome Book Prize with Eleanor, and I'll be discussing it in the upcoming live show with her, which I will announce soon. I had a great time reading this, I actually audiobooked it. It's a book that deals with so many interesting topics, from autism to dwarfism to children conceived through rape. It's got a lot of really interesting minority groups. The author has done so much research and talk to so many people from these diverse backgrounds. It's really intriguing to hear their stories and learn about their lives and it's emotional, it makes you open your eyes and think about your own characteristics and your own stereotypes and I really enjoyed it as a whole. It was just absolutely eye-opening and wonderful. Next on my list is another non-fiction. This is called The Good Immigrant and it's edited by Nikesh Shukla. However, it has a collection of various different writers and it's a book that I think everyone should read. It's a collection of stories from people who are either immigrants or second generation immigrants into the UK and it's their stories of coming into the UK and the racism that they have experienced. It's quite disheartening at times and it's really eye-opening again. Um, it's a book that I think is so worth reading even if you're not from the UK because it tells you about people's experiences and it's one that is just beautifully put together with a fantastic cover and just really really great stories throughout. I absolutely love this and I would thoroughly recommend checking out my review if you want to know a bit more about each of the individual stories in this, but it was thoroughly fantastic. Next on my list I have The Core from Peter V. Brett. This was the final one in the series and I absolutely loved it. It was really everything I wanted and more. It gave me so much and I really really enjoy this series. It is one of my all-time favourite series and I cannot wait to see what he does next. Because it's the fifth one in the series I can't tell you too much about it, but I have done a full non-spoiler review so I'll link that below if you want to go and check it out. It's just so good. It's so so good and I really really enjoyed reading this book. Another book that I really enjoyed reading and in fact two books because I read two by this author and they both got five stars and I was gonna include the first but then I finished the second just before the end of the year after I'd made my list of titles. So I'm gonna say both quickly. The first one is Devil's Night Dawning and the second one in the series is Warlock's Sun Rising. And I loved both of these. I gave both of them five stars. I thought they were excellent, excellent books. Um, it's a self-published series. It's absolutely impeccably done. It's beautifully written. It's got some really interesting characters and it's got a whole expansive world. It's going to be quite a long series, so it's kind of a slow build up. But some of the scenes are really action packed and intense. It's in a world besieged by demons. It does remind me of times of the Peter V. Brett series. Um, so maybe that's why I love it so much as well. But yeah, it's got its own flavour and it's really unique and very cool, so well worth checking both of those out. The next one on my list is Dragon Lords False Idols, which is the second one in the series. I loved both of these, again, the first and second, but the second one was my favourite of these and I just, I just thought it was great. 
it's really fun, it's very humorous and light-hearted, witty banter, a band of people joining together who are misfits and trying to defeat dragons who are incredibly terrifying and scary in this world, and it's great. I just think it's really fun and it's got that light-hearted tone that makes it enjoyable to read at any time well worth picking up. Next on my list, I could not have a complete list without Robin Hobb. For this list, it's Assassin's Fate by her, which is the final one in the Fits in the Fall series. Oh, this broke my heart many, many times over. I have done a full review of this and pretty much every Robin Hobb book because I've read them all since starting my channel, so there will be a review for everything. And yeah, I just, I love this world so much. I love these characters. They're so emotionally real to me. The world is completely three-dimensional for me now because I've read so many books about it. The magic is so interesting. There are dragons, there's wit magic, which means you can connect with beasts. There's skill magic, which is kind of like a telepathy thing. Oh, it's, it's so, so good. And I just think she's done this world to perfection. So I loved it. And it's of course going to be on my list. Also on my list is All Good Things by Emma Newman. This book is one of my favourites of the year. Um, it's in my top three along with Robin Hobb and the book I'm going to tell you about after this. But yeah, this book shattered my soul a little bit. It was again super emotional. Again it was a series that I really loved the characters for and I would love to see more from them even though I think this is the last book. Super interesting to see the series grow over the course of the books because the characters go on a journey of growth and the series as a whole takes on a much more sombre, darker tone as the books go on and I just loved it. I thought it was a really dark heart-wrenching series at times but it had some super interesting very powerful messages behind the text and the characters were great too. And finally my favourite book of the year is none other than Ken Liu's Wall of Storms. Oh my god it was so good. Again I could easily recommend both of the books in the series because I loved The Grace of Kings and I also loved The Wall of Storms but of the two, Wall of Storms is my favourite because it was just that tiny bit better in the female character department. Otherwise, so, so, so damn good and so close between them. They were so excellent. They are Eastern inspired, big, epic, sprawling fantasies, kind of inspired by Game of Thrones, but also with Eastern influence. And it's just great. It is honestly my favourite book of the year, one I would thoroughly recommend everyone goes and picks up if you're interested in fantasy, especially epic fantasy. But yes, I have reviewed this one too so please go check that out if you are interested. That is my top 10 of the year. I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys most enjoyed from this year of reading. Thank you all for watching, do let me know if you've read or want to read the ones I've just mentioned, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys! Thank you for watching my video today. Go pick up a book, then come back and chat with me again.